You can use the vending machine at the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker to get an infinite amount of items in Fallout New Vegas and in this video I will show you how. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. In order to use this exploit, you would have first needed to complete the Dead Money DLC and you would have also needed to win at least 7,500 Sierra Madre chips inside the casino. So on the assumption that you've done that, i.e. you won 7,500 Sierra Madre chips inside the casino and then completed the DLC. When you do that, if you sort of see this safe over here or rather this drop box, inside this drop box, there will be a number of complimentary vouchers where you can take a voucher and you can then take it to a casino within New Vegas and exchange it for 1000 Sierra Madre chips. What you will need to do is accumulate 33 of those vouchers. So you basically end up with 33,000 Sierra Madre chips. So that is a prerequisite to doing this glitch. Now, on the assumption you've done that, what you would do is sort of come close to this uh, vending machine. So let's go ahead and just click on it. You can see that I have exactly 33,000 Sierra Madre chips. What you want to do is you want to be somewhat close to the vending machine. And from here, what you want to do is access those chips and then just simply drop them. And when you do that, if you now look on the ground, you will notice that they have gone into a minus number. Now there is some math involved, I won't get into that, but basically if you drop 33,000 Sierra Madre chips or just 33,000 caps, then the game really isn't able to handle that big of a number for one reason. And what results is the item itself turns into a minus number. So now I can go ahead and pick this up. Now, as a result of picking up this minus 32,000 Sierra Madre chips, what's happened is the chips are actually in my inventory However, I won't be able to see them in my inventory. What they are, are effectively an invisible inventory item. And the great thing is they do not get depleted. So if I now access this vending machine, notice on the right hand side, it says I have 32,536 minus Sierra Madre chips. So if I go ahead and purchase something, so for instance, if I go ahead and purchase say some steam pack, so a steam pack will cost me 25. So I'm going to go ahead and get basically 100. What this would cost me in chips would have been, I guess, 2,500 chips. So 25 times by 100. But if you notice, I just bought 100. My chips have not actually gone down. So now let's try and buy something else. So let's go with, I guess, let's go with doctor's bag. Again, if I try to get 100 of those, this should have costed me some chips but it didn't. If I now look in my inventory, so you can see I've got 102 doctor's bags and somewhere down here, I've got 110 steam packs. So I had 10 from before and I had two doctor's bags from before. So by forcing your Sierra Madre chips to go into the negative numbers, you can basically access items inside the vending machine and get as many items as you want, as long as you have minus 32,536 Sierra Madre chips. You can use this glitch to effectively never run out of steam packs, certain ammo and other items, but this is only useful if you collect all the vending machine codes inside the Dead Money DLC. Click on the video you see on the screen now and I will show you how to collect all the vending machine item codes in the Dead Money DLC in Fallout New Vegas.